I meant to turn the camera on before you got here. Be like, well, I'm waiting on Ern. It's currently wiling the fuck out today. So, so change the subject. Samples. Oh, thank you for bringing me the samples that were dropping yeah, on this. Oh, thank you. Thanks. Yeah. I know I designed them. Thank you. No way. For the first time oh, ever to oh, the peach thanks. hoodie. Thanks. We bring color. Oh, gold. Very limited. I'm glad I got one. Oh, uh, no, I didn't even get everything. No, you didn't get everything. This is why. So why do you get everything? Oh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah. I don't get everything from the drop now. I think I'll, I'll just. Uh, I'll just get online. What about the fucking splits? I thought I gave them to you Hello? last week. Yeah, what's up? Okay. All right, that's what's up. We'll go enjoy your lunch and tell me how much it costs. <laughs> All right. Cool. Appreciate it. It's my Kith order. Nice. This boy went in on Kith racing for no reason. Uh, you got something from um, fucking Twitch? Why are you on one today? There's just a lot to get done. First off, All these shoes need to go. Yeah, and you need to build a website. Yeah, and I'm so. going to do it. And I just figure if I sit down, I need to work on that. I need to get... Oh, those shoes are hot. Oh, these? I'm sorry. Dude, you know what, too? I was going to cop them Here. like a month to ago. Cop them before you could. Not before you could, but just before you did. Uh, so what? Okay. You were going to cop, but you didn't cop. I didn't cop. Yeah, you know why? Because <laughs> you don't cop. Look at you. Oh, no, 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 no. No, these I ran out of the house in. Yeah, it looks like you ran away from I got my Whoa! Fuck socks on. I bought those for you. I didn't even say those. I didn't expect you to wear them, though. Yeah. Well, so these do? need to get done, plus the coming soon page needs to get up oh, ASAP, because yeah. mm -hmm. it's already fucking, what, Friday? Friday. Should have already been up. I just got the images, because we just got samples, because this goddamn shop can't keep up, and I know you're mm. not going to put this on the block. These motherfuckers need to keep up with me. Oh, okay. And I'll put that on the block. Oh, what's in you there? will put that on the block. You know I will. <laughs> I'm not fucking with you. I'm giving uh, the people the realness. We're out here being real. We keep it real. Even I love you. I know you're the only one that's going to see this from the shop anyways. <laughs> Damn. Fuck you, Sab. This caption contest is full fed. Then I'm gonna send two people today 50 bucks. Whoever has the best caption. I don't know. I'm just tripping because I know yeah. we want to get this out. Plus, plus, I have customer service shit still. I'm gonna have to spend time in the yeah. shop, and every day I say I'm gonna do that, and then when I get there, it's too late. Um, it's just a lot. I'm right? freaking out. I wake okay. up and I'm freaking out. Yeah, that's why I said you're on one today. I want to hit you at about seven o'clock tonight with an Excel spreadsheet and say, hey, Teddy, just drop the prices in here. The site's set up and ready to go. Great. And we just drop. I would love for you to do that. That's do you see the Dirty Earn starter pack? No. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's a real thing. <laughs> no. I'm wearing the pants, dog. Yeah. Just not the shoes, but they're at home and the vape. You can't get it to focus. Tap the screen. No. No, fuck face. Wait, I there it goes. No, dude, I'm doing I guess I'll clean the fucking abomination that is my house now. Because, you know, yesterday you just threw that on the floor. Like, <laughs> you're like, hey, fuck your printer, Ted. Fuck you. I don't even know where you put Oh, that's that thing that was there. <coughs> I cleaned up a little. There's, no, 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 no. <laughs> Look at what you're keeping on the wings and horns. Yeah, they were going to go out, but I think they're staying. They're so fire. It's so funny. I don't like them that You don't know anything about shoes. <laughs> <laughs> you say that. Yo, look at you fucking, like I'm worried about your fucking bootleg ass fucking middle of the mall gray pants. Did you get them shits at fucking Zares? Get the fuck out of here. I you know what Zares is. No, so but I definitely got them at like Zoomies yeah. or one of those. Fuck, it's like one of the, or H&M. That's uh, what it's yeah. from. Fucking racist. Supporting no. that racist ass company. This was before that. No, I don't think so. I bet it was the day it happened. You probably <laughs> ran out and bought 20 pairs. Probably went out looking for the shirt and stuff. No. No, you were with me. I, I was not with you. I've never even been in an H&M. I feel like we walked through one because we were with Upgrade. And he needed pants or something. Who needed pants? He did. You, I went, to H you went into an H&M in the Greensboro Mall and I stood outside and that guy came outside and asked yes. me if I invented Boost for Kanye. Yes. That's the only time. And then yes. one time I went into an H&M in New York City when I was like 21 and I tried on jeans. Two sizes smaller and I got super upset and was like, this place sucks. It's all Euro. It's all Euro fit. I'm out. I ain't got no zippers on their pockets. I'm out. Damn. Yeah. I'm about the H&M life, son. Fuck it, shit up. All right, let's roll a joint. Yeah. So I don't even want to have on a green hat right now, but I do. That's black. They won't even notice the change. Oh, oh shit. Did you cut right through it? Almost. I cut through something. I think this might be for Kumar, who's not here. Where'd he go? He went to daycare. By himself? Yeah, he just walked there. <laughs> Some dogs drive over and just walk. For, yeah, these are for, this is for Omar. Oh no, there's a note in here. Happy late birthday, Omar. Feel free to share with Ern if you want. <laughs> Stephanie and Ryan. Man, that's awesome. Y'all fucking hooked it up. Nice. Yeah, what is man. that? Omega-3 fatty acids. Oh, that's great. You just hip and My man's about to be on a program himself. Put him on a program. Yeah. Nice. Hell yeah. I want to see what's in the hip and joint. 
Omar's be stoked when he gets home from fucking doggy daycare. Yeah, he is. Which I guess I'll rent a car today and go pick him up. No. He's fucking around. No. Well, that's why I was telling you I didn't have a car. Oh, look, I knew you ain't had no fucking car by the way he was acting this morning. I know you. If I get texted, like, that's why I waited for you to text. I was I ready to text I you know. that text at 6 a.m. If I wake up and my phone is dry, I already know I'm being avoided. It's like, I already know. No, no, no. You know, you know, it's like on drop days. You know, someone the night before is like, I got you, bro. Send me that PayPal. I'm like, all right, here you go. And then your phone's dry as fuck the next day. It's the L. You caught the L. He's just waiting to figure out how to tell you. Uh, well, at least it didn't go how I thought it was going to go, man. <laughs> you got nothing to say. Yeah, I bet. Lots of people ain't got nothing to say when I start squawking. Motherfuckers just. Up. No, Brandy's at the shop. Oh, at home? We're having a Kama Sutra day. No, no. Brandy's yeah, at the shop. I don't shop. even know about that. Shave your fucking head and your beard. I'm really upset about her. The tweet. beard I could do. I'm upset. One, I'm upset that I was even tagged. Did she dude. tag no, you? No, she didn't, so I'm not upset with her. But she, this dude ain't got no clout. <laughs> Whoever the fuck y'all talking about? I don't yeah. know his name. Okay. I'm not saying his fucking name either. I'm giving him no shine. But anyway, <laughs> he's a rapper? I went and listened to his Wait. song. You know, like I said, I'll give it a shot. I fucking click on it. Fucking, and it's like, I want my bill. What, what, gym class heroes just did yeah. a fucking huge line of cocaine and they got all disco with it. Hello? Disco. Yeah, and the song is just like, ooh, chooky baby, ooh. I was like, this is fucking terrible. Like, this is goddamn awful. It's really bad. It's different. Are you fucking serious right so, now? It's, it's different, you know, it's, uh, some people like. You gotta be fucking kidding me. What's his name? Speaking of which, you wanna talk about something that's good. If you haven't heard the new Flatbush album, I'm gonna give you a couple of seconds. And then next week. You're gonna be like, I love that bush zombies. I've listened to it. I got a bad bitch, and she blowing sticky. This July, and I'm blowing 50. If you pull it on me, you better kill me. Come on, cut it, take your niggas with me. Is this Jada Kiss first? Yeah. Oh, it's cold. Good. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's the most perfect verse. All this rolling shit is all a facade. You the ace in your hood. You on the red carpet, falling apart. I ain't bored for a song where you ain't write a single word of it. Mm. And don't compare us to the large percentage of smoking mirrors. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's not like normal hip hop. It's like singy, weird fucking shit. He is dope, lad. Uh. Uh. Nah, he's ass kissing on the cheek. Huh? He funny. Fuck out of here with the shit. Let me roll a goddamn joint. Let's hear what you said. Let me look since the camera was off. I said I just don't I don't wanna, you know, bulk up too much. I said I run, I, I kinda wanna get I wanna get, I wanna get toned. And you, yeah, that's the key word. Toned said, is I wanna get toned. You off. That's the trigger word. And then you said you don't wanna lift because you don't wanna get too big. Yeah, as I don't if, wanna get too as big. As if uh, you know, being anabolic is just easy as fuck. Like you start lifting weights and people just start packing muscle on, like, man, I don't know what I'm gonna do with all these muscles. <laughs> that's what like I think. dudes aren't skipping out on the club and about everything else in life to not worry about their fucking Game. You can't tone. There's no such thing. But I feel like we have two different goals. The sets, but the same. Uh, I think we're just going two different ways. To that's the same what I goal, mean. But I think that's interesting because it'll show what a fucking runner does versus what just lifting heavy weights does. But I don't just want to be a runner. My point is, I go to the gym and I do lift weights, not heavy weights, but I do lift decent amount of weight. So you can have the same amount of resistance week after week and. It'd still be different. You can go to the gym and only lift, let's say you bench press 135 pounds. If you bench press 135 pounds on, Maybe. and then time in between each set or in between each rep is it's, shorter, it's that's gonna still be harder a progression. To, yeah. like you're still, you'll progress like just by doing it. When you start warming up and stuff, you'll, you'll throw in an extra rep because you can do it. You won't, you know, the idea yeah. is not to train to failure every day. Yeah. You kill yourself. Yeah, but that's not what we're talking about. What we're talking about is the fact that. You can lift all the fucking weights in the world, my G. If you're not eating enough food, you're yeah. not gonna gain muscle. So that, that's what I'm saying is that's not gonna happen. The idea is to fucking use the muscles that you have, keep them, build upon them as much as you can. It's really hard to build muscle in a cal caloric deficit. Build those muscles up so that those muscles help you burn fat naturally. If you're carrying more muscle on your frame, you're just gonna, your body So that's why I'm like lifting and running. Yeah, you need to do both. I mean, I don't wanna say need, because everybody does something different. You should do both. Like to, to have 
have a to have a men's health body, and it could be detrimental to not eat enough because then you're not building enough muscle. Yeah, what's your gas in your tank, dog? I feel like I I am like I don't feel like I'm starving myself. Like what did you eat yesterday? Yogurt and granola for breakfast. I went to this place, Fit Kitchen, where they have uh, like healthy turkey and like uh -huh. vegetable uh, mac and cheese. Uh -huh. It's like 400 calories. It's a lot of uh, protein. Carbs, uh, I would assume, since there's it's macaroni and cheese. Yeah, but it's uh, gluten free, like made of vegetable pasta. Like it's like made of zucchini. Got dinner though. Uh huh. This better, had, be, this better be a big one. I had an 11 to 12 ounce sirloin steak. Okay. I had sweet potatoes. Mm -hmm. I had baby broccoli. Mm -hmm. It's a half blue apron oh, and yeah. half That's like I, mean, I just grabbed apron. the steak okay. and the blue apron. So you apron, ate a blue apron and that is yeah. So blue aprons are normally what like five, six hundred <laughs> calories probably. They're about 450, 500 a person, uh -huh. and then the steak was probably another four. Yeah. So the idea really isn't to count calories because it's kind of silly. You should really just count your macronutrients because then your calories will be in line regardless. Oh, wait, that's much. If you just decide like 100 grams of protein a day and I want to get 30 grams of fat a day and I want to get... <coughs> you said count by proteins, by carbs, by they're stuff macro, like that? Yeah, they're called macronutrients. But the macronutrient stuff I do look at is like sugars. Like if you look at that it's whole thing... It's not a thing, macronutrient. Sugar's just sugar. The stuff I don't want on that little label next to the macronutrients. You know what I'm saying? Right here. But that doesn't have anything to do with you eating enough. You're talking about like two different things. You're talking about like not putting shit in your body that no but I do like the yogurt for example bad. I know that it's like 12 um, per serving it's like 12 grams of protein so I know the two servings I'm getting like 24 grams okay of protein. the steak I'm getting like 40 grams of protein more than that so that's six 12 ounce sirloin so I'm at like 90 100 grams of protein I need more than that depends I don't that's depends that's the part that I don't know depends on how much carbohydrates you have because it all needs to balance out so, like if you're on a keto diet 80 20 almost zero. So if 80% yeah. comes from fat, 20% comes from protein, and the rest of it is like no, really no, car like minimal carbohydrate. Basically, if it's not fiber, it doesn't have fiber in it, like you really shouldn't eat but, it. But so then, I don't know what my goals is, but well, see, when I feel like I'm doing right. I don't know right. what my goals is. I'm just a young one out here living life. I feel life. like I'm doing right. <laughs> I'm not really drinking soda. I'm not drinking anything with calories. I'm not eating snacks. I'm not eating candy. Yeah, all that stuff's great. I'm not picking up bags of chips. That's not what we're talking about though. The problem is, is that if you just run and don't eat enough, you'll lose weight, but you'll be losing muscle too. I'm trying to lose muscle. Yeah, that's why people who are skinny fat, they're still skinny, but they take their shirt off and you're like, whoa, that looks weird. I'm doing bench presses and yoga and uh, curls and, and uh, so you just go into the gym and just do some bench presses and some curls and then some yoga and you're done. I know what I'm doing at the gym, dude. Do you work your legs out? I, yes. Once I do, I do squats. I do. Uh, this is such a funny conversation. I do those other things. People are going to be commenting on how much of a dick I am about this. But Teddy thinks he's a fucking expert. All but I'm just giving you the advice that. I no, have. I do know routines, and then I used to look up like men's health routines and just do like, you want to be an NFL running back routine. Uh, yeah, those are the ones you ran. You were like, oh, that's what I want to do. Yeah. So, like you need to understand what you're doing so that you can like have fun with it. If you're not, if you're just like, oh, I gotta follow this regimen. I gotta follow this regimen exactly. It's just you're Good fucking boy. robot and you're bored. And, you, and your human nature is to fucking deviate. You need to follow a guide, but it needs to be your own guide and it needs to be fit to your own lifestyle. You can't just go by. I feel like I'm slowly shaping. Man. Yeah, that's fine too. There's nothing wrong with doing it slow. It's not like, it's not like you know, it's like software. You can it's edit like, it as it's out. It yeah, I do want to get stronger. Well, you're gonna have to eat more, I think. And you have to lift. Eating more is not a problem. Running is not gonna make you stronger. That's not the purpose of running. It's aerobic. No. It's not. No, it's running for nothing. Just gives me yeah. It's a good high when you smoke and then you run and then when you're done running, you're like mm -hmm. But you also need to counteract all that running. If you're running that much, you need to eat even that much more. That's where, that's the weird thing because I've never in my life in any workout routines ran as much as I've been running now. All right, fitness life today. Yeah. Yeah, man. Get I, out here early enough. What time is it? Yeah, it's yeah. It's like I'll touch later with this. Yeah, let me know what's good. I'll look for boxes for the rest of that shit today too. For what I can find. I have a crazy palace hoodie coming yeah. that you might be interested in. Why? It doesn't fit you. Uh, I mean, it'll fit me very soon. If it doesn't, that's not the point. I'm just saying oh. that it. You don't know. You might. I, I might not you even. You might not want it. I don't know yet. Okay. It might be too crazy for me, but you might like it. The boost blade. All right. I'll see you later. Godspeed. Yeah. You black emperor. All right. So, Ern is gone. Omar is gone. The house is a fucking wreck. I have a lot of work to do. Um, it's 11 o'clock. I'm gonna get 
some work done now, and then I'm gonna go to the gym at, I don't have my first meal till two, I'm gonna train fasted today. So I'm gonna go to the gym at like one, I can come back here, start eating, get more work done. That's, I think that's a good plan. I think that's a good way to approach the day. So, uh, I'm on my phone, but it's probably windy as fuck too. But, my gym is like half a mile away, a little over half a mile away, so I'm just walking there. It's a lot colder and windier than I expected it to be, so it kind of sucks. I head over there, 5-0, it's chilling also. I just stay back there, 5 though. And it is now snowing, <laughs> so it's okay, but it's really cold. And now I got snow, I can't see it, but... I promise you it's happening. o'clock and it's no longer snowing but I haven't eaten anything yet so on the walk back to the house I'm gonna stop by Mad Greens grab a salad go home order groceries for dinner and uh, get started on vlog things you know what I'm saying we're out here dining cabaret right in front of us too I'm not gonna stop there <music> Okay, it's very late. That took way too long. I'm just now home from the gym. I probably shouldn't have walked everywhere, but it's whatever. Omar's boost ball was in the lobby. Uh, someone found it outside. I guess he dropped it off the balcony. I got a salad. I'm starving. Whew. It's four o'clock, so it's two hours past when I was supposed to start eating. So I am going to, I'm going, gonna go eat right now. I'm not gonna say another word, goodbye. Eating. Those of you that don't know about Complex, Complex was started by Mark Echo. And Complex started off completely different than how it is now. I remember Complex from when I was a kid. I remember old Complex magazine. I remember the Complex inserts. Mark Echo's career I followed pretty closely for a long time. He was in the center of a lot of things. A lot of bullshit, but also a lot of things. Yeah, so I mean, we kind of all grew up with Complex. Things change. Complex has done nothing but acquire people who have juice. Different facets of entertainment. They've just keep acquiring people. That's just what they do. And they've also been acquired. They're in bed with huge corporations. Adidas and Nike are huge corporations. We all know this. Also, Mountain Dew, Dr. Pepper, PepsiCo, Verizon. 2016, which is, I'm gonna just say where Complex started to go like this even more. They were acquired by Verizon. Advertisement money from huge corporations. When this venture group grabbed Complex. Their official statement that they released, the venture emphasized a goal of building a portfolio of the emerging digital brands of the future for the millennial and Gen Z audience, and proposed that Complex would develop content for Verizon-owned AOL and GO90. I don't even know what the fuck that is. GO90. Owned by Verizon. It is fuck Complex. That's why I said fuck Complex. Matt Welty, my man has no sense of humor, so he obviously took what I said as me being serious. I would like to say uh, I would never ask to work at Complex. Complex, you would have to ask me to work with you. Would ask you for a lot of money to make that happen because I would bring an enormous amount of value to your business. So don't for a second think that I would ever get in line to ask for a job. Complex, you have strown very fucking far away from where you began. You know, I guess that's the American dream is to grow up so big that you've exploded to the point where you no longer connect with anybody. But um, that's not what I am. That's not what other vloggers are. We're out here. This is where you started. Mark Echo started in the same place. Unconventional methods of getting your point across. You guys have completely abandoned that idea. You guys are now basically a Viacom. So there's really, as long as Complex exists like this, I won't respect it. People talk about fucking culture vultures all the time. Um, that would be applicable to Complex before anyone in the YouTube realm. About earlier, you know what? Just roll what I fucking said earlier.
All right, so I just got done watching the full size run that just happened. You guys know I was on that show a while ago. I just clicked on it because I saw that somebody was leaving. I was kind of hoping it was going to be wealthy, but it's not. Um, and then my homie Rich is leaving. I don't know where he's going, but he's leaving. I made a joke like on Twitter. It was just like, how much you guys paying for that co-host spot? And then everyone knows I'm like constantly on some fuck complex shit because it is some fuck complex shit. Complex just throws shade. Like they've gotten so big. You know, they hired Mia Khalifa for a sports show. All this like TMZ type shit going on all the time all of the content is they don't think it's diluted and they use a lot of really like nice equipment and it's got like good production value but it's it becomes diluted at that point your opinions are obviously swayed other than just like what you feel like and you guys bite shit like the complex vlog is fucking atrocious with it for a long time but this last two years nah man like what the fuck you guys use my name like full size run has thrown the boost god on screen uh they've called other people god of shoes and i'm not i didn't come up with anything it's whatever but it's obviously that i'm being referenced who the fuck are you you know what i'm saying like you're not on this higher platform like all these sneaker blogs and shit who think they're and the brands like adidas and Nike who think they're on these higher platforms, you're really not. You're you're disconnecting with people because you think you're so fucking big. We're in a new time. Celebrity is gone. Celebrity is dead. There is no famous, really. We're all famous in our own fucking world. This whole, like, idea that Complex is this entity that is bigger than the sneaker world and that is reporting on the sneaker world as, as if it's an authority is over. You know, it's absolutely over. That's why you guys are copying the same formats. You guys now have a vlog, which is impossible possible to get through and there's all kinds of shit so me offering as a joke to come work for complex one is a is a joke two if i was to ever come work for complex i'd change your whole entire show from top to bottom so there's that i would make your show funnier than it is now we would have like real conversations that aren't canned or sponsored or whatever and maybe the show wouldn't even exist because i don't know how that side of your business works um i'm a real ass dude and i just make real videos and i don't really sugarcoat shit and i just talk however i want to talk and i do whatever i want to do and I live my life and I buy the shoes that I actually like. I get rid of the shoes that I actually want to get rid of. And there's people that fuck with that. So when I'm talking about fuck complex, it's fuck the biting, fuck the shade, fuck the TMZ bullshit. Be honest with people, like connect with fucking people. It's just not connective. The best thing going is the sneaker shopping videos. And some of those, the guests, I get it. I understand it for content purposes, but still, you're not up here, dog. Like, you're not up here. Especially on this fucking internet shit. Like on some YouTube shit. Oh, we're making content. Content shit. You know, I get it. You're appealing to bigger audience. You're making more money. You're not keeping it more real. And I don't answer to anybody. So there's that. Everyday struggle, full size run, whatever, what have you. But Complex and some of the people that work for Complex need to check their shit. I'm not, I'm not your enemy, dog. Have at it. Rich, Brendan, Gerald, love y'all. It's cool. It's all love. We can have a friendly debate. Wealthy, you're on some other shit. And I know you don't want me to come on the show with you because we'd have to have like an actual debate. And I would actually debate with you. These guys don't really debate with you and you don't at me and shit and I know I know who you're talking about so if you would like to actually like have a conversation we could have a conversation or we could do the subtweet shit all you want but um I would prefer if we talk about it because you don't know me might not like the lane that I built for myself just like a bunch of other suckers out there that's your problem and not mine let's talk about it or let's not ever ever talk about it again and i'll make all the jokes that i want and you just stay quiet over there on your show talk about it on your show okay all right on that note i'm gonna go to the gym because that's what i need to go do i ordered these because i've seen them enough i got them on a discount and i just i wanted to finally just check them out never checked them out so it's time completely different box these are the nmd so we got these in. This is a new NMD. I am interested to check these out. I'll let you guys know on Monday if there's any differences, but um, we have a ton of fucking shoes coming in the mail. Like a ton. There's um, Undefeated collab, all four shoes. There's probably the Grey Climacles, the white James Harden Y3. There's actually a blush hundred on the way because so many people talk shit about how I'm so close-minded, which I'm not. I try out more shoes than probably most people. I have a blush on the way and I'll try it out and I'll let you guys know how I actually feel about another shoe that doesn't have boost. Even though I'm not really looking forward to it because I kind of think I know what I'm gonna know. The thing to talk about with you today is the Ace, nope. The Predator Tango 18 Plus PR, which I'm assuming is trainer trail i don't know this is what the shoe looks like 
I showed you the box yesterday. It's just a white, uh, like football soccer box. All right, so let's get into this. I um, at first really didn't like the shoe, and I'm still on the fence about it. There's things I like about it, and there's things I don't like about it. So let's go through the shoe itself and what it's made out of. Predator 18. Um, if you don't know, Predator is a basically like a soccer. I don't want to say it's a line, but Predator is probably one of the most popular soccer shoes in the world, if if not in the world. I don't play soccer. Which, by the way, a lot of people lately have been commenting shit like, oh, what, you play soccer now? No, motherfucker, I don't play soccer now. I never will, probably. But I own a lot of Adidas shit, and a lot of their shoes are based off soccer. Like, that's the, ho the whole company is based off soccer. So this comment is just so stupid. And I just, you know, it doesn't offend me. I just want you guys to try harder. You know, if you're going to throw shade at me, you just got to level up. Because you can't, you can't talk shit if you're not good at it. So just, just come better. Just come stronger. That's it. I urge you. Just think about what you're saying first. It's got to make sense to be funny. But Predator 18, this is not a soccer shoe. This is a lifestyle shoe based on off of the soccer shoe, the current model. I'll get into all that. But basically you have boost, rubber outsole, Predator heel cut, which I stated yesterday is not really my favorite thing. Uh, just the Predator logo in general. I just don't like the lettering. Has a very kind of just, yeah, rest, like I said, wrestling vibe. I get it, it's been around for a long time. It's just not my favorite. Three stripes fused to the side in black. It's a black on black design. Really just performance logo on the back heel. Predator is also written on the inside. Tango logo boost and that's pretty much it i mean there's no laces a lot like the um you know, very similar to the ace there are no laces so let's get into differences here with all of the shoes um let's start with the predator the predator started off as a soccer football cleat there are many versions of it it has changed dramatically over time. I believe the first one came out like 1994. Leather uppers, they were designed by a professional football player, soccer player. I don't know why I have to keep doing the football soccer thing. I hope y'all know what I'm talking about when I say football. I really just want to say football because that's what most people call it, but soccer, we're in America. Anyway, they changed a lot over time. The so I don't know the soccer player's name who helped develop this, but upper or on the toe box, on the original soccer cleat was based off of the stickiness of like a table tennis pad. And so the idea was to textures that would help you perform while playing soccer. And then the up you have black with gray digitally peppered in goldish heel cup. It was also when the Adidas introduced the fold over tongue with the Predator. A lot of innovations. Essentially the Predator has been Adidas's swan song over and over in the soccer realm. They take all their high tech and put it in the Predator for performance. Um, the Ace, the Predator went to sleep for a little bit. They put the Predator away. That's when the Ace was introduced. So that's why you have the differences. And now the new Predator, which has a sock like collar, is very similar to the Ace. The Ace and the Predator look very, very similar, but there are some changes. Essentially, the whole idea, which Adidas has explained, they introduced the Ace so they could work on and tinker and fuck around with this model without fucking with the uh, the lineage or the history or the namesake of Predator. But now they've included all these things they learned. With the Ace, the Ace is now gone and they now have the new Predator. I don't have that shoe. It's a soccer shoe, I don't play soccer, but you know. Then now, you have this version, which is definitely 100% a lifestyle shoe. There is no way you're playing soccer in this. This is a complete knit upper. There is really no stability in this shoe whatsoever. This back heel cup is even pretty flexy. It's lifestyle. It's as NMD as it gets. And honestly, just kind of weird in some ways. Uh, my initial things that I don't like, I still don't really like. Don't love, don't love this outsole. I get it, I understand why it's there. A lot of the things that are on this shoe are just paying homage to the Predator itself. So as a lifestyle shoe, I totally get it. I think it's cool. But there's just certain things that, that turn me off a little bit. The shoe itself is just a little narrow. The boost pad you're sitting on just feels more narrow than say like an NMD. And then the boost shape itself is different than an NMD. You can see that it has like a nice wave in it. It goes with the arc of your foot. The upper does lock you down a lot like an NMD. It's honestly a little more secure than your average NMD. You can't really half size down in this pair because of this right here. And if you half size down, you're gonna bang your foot against this. Like you're gonna feel it. There's nothing there to stop you. Half sizing down is not 
really an option in my opinion. It leads me to tell you that these fit true to size. There is no insole, so there won't be any compensating for that. Pretty much every other thing is just a cue from the Predator. These forged lines on the inside is very reminiscent of how the Predator looks on the toe box, especially how it started off looking. And then the sock like collar, which is something they've just introduced now, which I guess has caused some controversy in the soccer world. This is also a cue from the Predator, whereas the black upper, but once you stretch it out, you get um, this color, which is probably the fucking coolest thing about the shoe and shoes in general. Like that was a really big surprise and really made me like, like, okay, I love this fucking shoe. After wearing it all day, I don't absolutely love it. I like it. I'm going to keep it. I don't know if this outsole will grow on me, but it is comfortable. It's definitely as, as comfortable as an NMD, maybe a little bit more because of the lockdown. It's really hard to say. It's got a little bit higher of an anchor collar and things like that. So there, there's a little bit, there's a little bit of an improvement, I'd say, on an NMD. There's also some drawbacks. That damn black sole. It does make sense with this shoe. I, I'm not. I'm not criticizing them for doing it. It's just not my favorite. Little, not as easy to slip on as an NMD, but pretty easy to slip on. Very lifestyle casual and very much inspired by uh, the Predator cleat that is out right now. So if you see the Predator cleat next to it, which uh, maybe I'll remember to put it right here, you can easily tell that they're inspired by each other. Synthetic leather reinforces the heel and then the sole itself also has some cues from the cleat. So overall, it's an okay shoe. I'm glad I got it on sale. These were just sitting for half off. They retail for like two bucks. I got them for 90 something ship. So um, I think it's worth it. I don't know. I'm gonna hold on to them for now. Speaking of not holding on to things, the shoe sale will be happening soon. I don't know when, probably next week at some point because we're building the, well, Ernst building the website today. And I'm going to try to have a great weekend. Also this weekend, Sunday drop, Illuminati drop. The all seen cry. I got you guys. It's coming. Everything should be loaded on the site really soon. Probably by the time this vlog goes up, you should see everything that says coming soon. If not, check my Instagram, Twitter, social medias, what have you, whatnot. Uh, kiss your family members. Tell your friends you love them. And I'll see you guys on Monday. Peace.